them and they slowly but surely look like they're going to head into Juma. They're about to cross the main road. There are some guys that have taken photos so I don't want to ruin their shot as the leopards cross the road for them. So I'm just going to let them cross over and once they've crossed over we'll continue to follow them a little bit better. But isn't this cool? Come on Danny, you've got to come back to Juma and spend some time this side. You can see she's just twitching her tail now. I wonder if she hasn't spotted these warthogs because Ferg and I saw these warthogs run from here and I think she may have spotted them. That's why that tail is starting to twitch. You can often tell a lot from a leopard's tail and whether or not they've seen what's going on. Oh, there we go. There they go across the road. So little Tumba is a little bit nervous of the car still so he went kind of jumping across the road as the vehicles pile up. Unfortunately on these main roads it becomes a bit of a mess because of the amount of cars. We've got lots of private vehicles that use these to go in and out so there's a couple of them that have arrived as well which is not ideal. But there she goes. She's going to stride down the road and we're going to try and see if we can't follow her. So just checking with Abel if I can go in front. I don't want to ruin his pictures that he's getting with his guests. So always good just to check with your fellow guides if everything is okay, if you can go through. And little Tumba's here on our right hand side. Hello little boy. Come on, catch up with mom. Looks like Tandy might come northwards, which is good. So I'm just rolling forward with Tumba, I don't want to sort of spook him in any way. He's already a little bit nervous with all the car activity, so just kind of slowly coasting along with him, letting him do his thing and go where he wants to go. I ultimately, we don't want to scare him in any way. We want him to get used to us, and sometimes when lots of cars are present, then this is what happens. Now, Tandy's given us what she thinks of this whole situation. She just squatted quickly on the road and deposited a rather nasty gift for whoever's driving there. Because if that goes in your tires, it's not going to be a very pleasant experience at all. How are you guys doing? Thank you. <laughs> So, Jane, you want to know how Tumba compares to Tandy's previous male cubs at the same age. Well, he's about the same as what Wabba Yuzo was. Wabba Yuzo was a similar sort of size. And there's a water buck in front. You see there's a water buck? Now, I'm sure the water buck has seen Tandy, but there's a water buck straight ahead that's busy watching Tumba. I don't know if it's actually seen Tandy itself. She's now stopped on the road because she's seen that water buck. So let's see how this plays out. Little Tumba's walking through. But he's he's about the same size. And I think Tumba is going to be one of those late bloomers. I don't think he's like Hosanna that grew very quickly early on. I think Tumba is going to be a little bit later in life. He's going to get bigger because his paws are massive. And I think he's going to grow into those paws. And he's already grown into his ears a little bit. But the paws themselves, he's going to grow into. Now look, Tandy's cutting into the grass now. And Tumba's now seen Tandy as well as the water buck. Isn't that cool? Ferg, that's awesome. Well done. This is as good as it gets. Wow. Very, very cool. Now let's see what happens. I'm sure these water buck have seen these leopards. They're staring. They haven't made a noise yet. And we know with Tundi, she likes to catch big animals. So this is not exactly beyond the realms of possibility. Most other leopards would just leave a water buck to carry on. But with Tundi, this is not that were realms of beyond realms of possibility and where she can go. Look, look at her running in there. She's interesting to watch when she hunts because she often uses the long grass. And you see what she's done? She's gotten onto the road and she's using the long grass to try and cut through. There we go. Look, there she goes. I wonder if there's not a baby there that she's trying to go after. No, she's going after the... That's crazy. So she went after the impalas and the baby waterbuck, which ran across the road, and she's gone further north into this area. So let's see if we can't find her. She ran northwards, so I'm going to try and just quickly punch a hole into the other side here, because there's a little road on the other side. There's Tumba in front of me. Hey boy, it's okay. 
So he's listening for mom. He's trying to hope that mom has caught something. And I wonder, there's lots of alarm calling in front here. I wonder if his mom didn't grab something. If she did, she'll soon call and you'll find this leopard will go straight. The little tumble will go straight to where Tundi is. Isn't this exciting? What a morning we've had. Wow. And they come on to Juma, which is even better news for all of us. There goes little Tumba. Sorry, boy, I don't want to drive too much behind you. I want to get around you. But I don't know where Tundi is. I think Tundi is somewhere here on my left as well. She came bursting into this direction. And there, oh, there she is. I can see her now. So she's not too far. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to go any further. I've got a tree here that when I push over, it's going to make a cracking sound. And that's going to cause Tumbo to run, which I don't want to do. He's just on the other side of this little bush. And Tundi's there where the vehicles are. So when she starts coming in this direction, or he moves off, I'll go over the tree and we'll try to get a better view. But he's just behind there. It's amazing how well they camouflage. You can see his spots through the tree, but otherwise incredible camouflage that they exercise. A little bit to the right there. There we go. There you can see it. Just inside there is little Tumba. And his spotted pattern that just helps to break up the outline. Very, very cool indeed. Well, what an epic, epic sighting we've just had of these two amazing spotted cats. And so while we try and follow out, follow them and try and find where Tundi's gone to, let's go back to Ali and see if she's had any more luck with the wild dogs.